It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 4th of February. I'm Michael Groff. A very chilly start to the day, but a warming trend takes over, and that will continue through the middle and latter part of next week. High temperatures going back to above normal levels, and with a blocking pattern in place, you bet, we're going to stay mostly clear and very dry for the foreseeable future. All right, we'll talk about all of that in just a moment, but first, it is Friday, so that means it's Photo Friday here, where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted we're pretty light on content this week, but we do have some good stuff to take a look at here. First, this is from Malik from South Phoenix, looking back toward the valley and the skyline view there. I love that shot. And then this one, this is a great picture. This is from near Metro Center around Castles and Coasters, sunrise the other morning. Look at that. I love this picture. I might even make that the thumbnail for today's uh, weather video. And then a couple of pictures from Steve up in Willow Creek, who says that he enjoys our videos every day, always says some really nice things and contributes these great pictures from up there in northwest Arizona. They've had some very cold temperatures this week as well. Freeze warnings around, but that has not stopped the beautiful pictures that are ongoing. As always, Arizona gives you the opportunity to take some great pictures, and that's why we do it. Photo Friday each and every week. You want to get in on it, you can do so. Show at gmail.com is my email address. That is G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com for Photo Friday. All right, as we uh, take a look at the almanac from yesterday, a chilly day, 58 degrees the afternoon high, 37 was the morning low, and many spots around the valley got to right around or even below freezing. The normal high, 69, the normal low, 48. And as we take a look outside right now at 6.30 a.m., we've got clear sky here in Phoenix. It was as cool as 37 degrees at the airport earlier, but now we've seen the temperature jump back up to 46 degrees. But it is just bone dry. Look at that dew point at minus one, relative humidity 14%. One of the reasons for those fluctuations in temperatures, those east-northeasterly breezes around 10 miles per hour, and the barometer way up at 30.37 inches and steady. Temperatures across the area this morning, 53 is the warm spot over there at Saguaro Lake. Otherwise, I see a 27 up in North Phoenix. We've got uh, low 30s for Chandler and over there toward Tolleson. Meanwhile, temperatures in the 40s for Arcadia, Tempe, Scottsdale, and uh, some other parts of the valley. And I mentioned it's dry. I mean, look at these dew points across the area. Generally single digits, even a couple of below zero values. Um, some p spots in the teens, but again, with this very dry air mass, we're going to see those fluctuations in temperatures. It'll be warm during the day, especially as we go into this weekend and early next week, but overnight lows will continue to drop off very nicely. The upper air look this morning shows you just why it is so dry here across the southwest. We have this trough that's beginning to move out into the Plain States and a northerly flow here across Arizona, and that's just helping to push down that dry air. There's a little area of low pressure off of the central and southern California coast, too, and that is increasing the pressure gradient, giving us those down-sloping flow uh, off of the mountains, and that helps just to compress the air and dry it out even further. So there's just no moisture to work with around here, and there's not going to be much in the way of moisture for the next several days, maybe even the entirety of the forecast period, with a blocking pattern developing as this uh, trough moves away from us, and ridging will become the dominant feature. The watch warning map this morning, yes, still some freeze warnings over parts of Arizona, Mojave, La Paz, uh, some of the higher terrain of southern, south-central Arizona as well. Elsewhere, winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings from the Ohio Valley all the way up through the northeast. The snowflakes are still flying up there. Flood watches in parts of Georgia. The convective outlook for today, we do have a little marginal risk of severe storms around Savannah, Georgia. And here's a look at precipitation. Valid through next Friday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing. Statewide, nothing. As we are in a blocking pattern, folks, no shot at any precipitation anytime soon. We'll talk about why that is, give you all the particulars on it right now as we get to the models. Here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And there's a weak little area of low pressure off the Southern California coast. That's not going to do a whole lot for us other than keep the pressure gradient a little bit tighter around here for some breezy conditions today. And that big blocking ridge developing out there off of the West Coast and throughout the Western states. The heights are coming up. So down at the surface today, sunny, a bit warmer, highs low to mid 60s. Tonight, clear, cool, overnight lows, mid 30s to low 40s. And then tomorrow, sunny, warmer, highs, upper 60s to around 70. On Sunday, we're in the low 70s with sunny sky. Same thing Monday. Tuesday, mid-70s likely. The sky remains sunny and the air mass dry. Wednesday, sunny. 
highs, mid 70s. Now we will see these occasional increases in breezes through this period, but other than that, the weather remains very tranquil. Mid to perhaps upper 70s as we go to Thursday. Again, with sunny sky continuing, some of our model guidance suggests the warmest deserts could be up around 80 degrees at this time. Here's a week from today. This is Friday, the 11th. Still, this big blocking ridge extends from the Gulf of Alaska through much of the western states, a dry north to northwesterly flow here. And that's going to keep all of those storm systems well to the north and east of us, deflected across the central and eastern parts of the country. And then going out 10 days. This is Sunday, the 13th. And again, anomalous ridging continues essentially from the northeast Pacific all the way through the western states oriented from northwest to southeast. So those storm systems, they're going to just ride over that ridge across western Canada, descending southeastward and carving out a big trough for the east. So dry and warm weather will continue for the foreseeable future. All right, let's look at uh, rainfall for Phoenix. This is coming off of the GFS Ensemble going out through the 18th of February, and you can forget it. There's just not really any meaningful chance of precipitation. Yeah, a few members try to bring in some rain here or there, but we don't see any signs that this pattern is going to break down anytime soon. And temperatures off the national blend of models were in the 60s today and tomorrow, but then warming up into the 70s. In fact, uh, you see those highs out there toward about the 12th, 13th, 14th, mid-February, getting pretty close to 80 degrees and overnight lows around 50. And that'll just about do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here on Monday morning. Of course, updates before that if necessary. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And I invite you to check out my streaming station. It's called KMGX. We play a ton of music over there, have a lot of fun while doing it myself, and the one and only Michelle put that together for you. So do check it out. I leave a link to it in the description and how you can listen via your smart speaker. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support. It is greatly appreciated. And you be safe out there. Have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.